So JP, me and you, we know the power of LinkedIn. That's how we met. And that's how now we're doing the interview because we built a relationship. We know each other. But for still some people, international students or immigrants, they don't see the value in LinkedIn and they don't know how to use LinkedIn in, in finding jobs. In previous co- uh, video, we talked about that AI might generate some companies and uh, job seekers might follow those companies or find people there so that they can build relationships. So in your experience, how can job seekers use LinkedIn to find a job? Meher, I think there's thousands of pieces of advice on how to use LinkedIn to find a job or to apply for jobs. I want to tell you about something else that's much more important. I think for most students and most job seekers, their biggest problem is a crisis of imagination. Mm. They have not taken the time to imagine an aspirational self making a significant contribution to the world. And they should. Meher, these folks that we're talking about in five or 10 years, they're going to make a big impact on the world. It's a huge worthwhile investment to dream, to imagine your aspirational self. Who will you be in five years and 10 years? Yeah. Who do you want to emulate? What companies might you want to work for? I think that's the secret power of LinkedIn that's not talked about enough. Using LinkedIn, people can research industries, companies, and thought leaders that can help them grow. Yeah. LinkedIn can be used as a learning platform mm-hmm. where you come up with a web of inspirational companies that you follow, thought leaders that you read about every day, uh, jobs that you might want to apply in the future, near future, mid future, long-term future. And this basis expands your career horizons, you know, deepens new, creates new possibilities, deepens your knowledge about new areas, new skills and new jobs. And I think once you're in that web, you find stuff you really like, then, you can build relationships because your relationships can be built on your curiosity. I noticed that you posted about this. I have a question about how did you do this? How did you accomplish this? I noticed that, you know, you work for this company and then you transition here. How does that work? So all of this, all of these connections can be built on your curiosity about someone's background. Rav, this, this is an opposition, Meher, to reaching out someone, asking for, you know, refer me to someone, get me a job, very transactional. Yes. What I'm talking about is transformational, Mm. using LinkedIn to create your aspirational self. And that's my invitation for students and job seekers to consider if they truly want to tap into the real power of LinkedIn. Yeah. We also know that a lot of times uh, recruiters or hiring managers, they are bombarded with DMs from job seekers or students. Hey, I'm looking for a job. Can you help me? Or hey, I applied to your job on the website. Uh, please let me know. But in your opinion, is there a way to get the the attention of the recruiters when sending those messages? Yes, it's by deserving it. Can you elaborate more? Yeah, like that, then we have to define what does it take to deserve it? What does it take to earn it? Mm. You need to put yourself in the shoes of the recruiter. Mm-hmm. And the, the first job of the recruiter is to put themselves in the shoes of the hiring manager. So for a lot of students, they need to flip it and understand, well, what's the experience of our hiring manager? What's it like to receive 100, 500, 1,000 applications for a job? Oh, okay, you have 1,000 applications to go through. I need to make mine stand out immediately, right away. Maybe it needs to be customized. Maybe in my case, what I'm going to do before I apply, instead of applying to 100 jobs, I'm going to apply to 10 jobs. Yeah. Those 10 jobs, I'm going to spend 100 minutes each applying to each job. What am I going to do for 100 minutes? I'm going to learn about the problem that company is trying to solve. That's called having a challenge mindset. Mm-hmm. Based on the challenge the company is trying to solve, I'm going to write a cover letter explaining how I can help them solve that challenge. Yes. And then I'm going to write a customized resume that's my track record of solving similar challenges. Do you see how it's all connected? Yes. You can use ChatGPT to help you come up with these materials, you know, based on, 
you can go read the company's website, their mission about us. Yeah. You can think about your past experiences and how they link up and form stories based on the job description that's posted about how you can help. And then you create a customized application package. When you send that to a hiring manager, when you send that to a recruiter, then you stand out. Then you become part of the 1% of applicants yeah. and you make it worth their time to even read your application. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would recommend. If you want to earn or deserve the attention of a recruiter or a, or a hiring manager, um, you should create a, a customized package. Thank you for those great tips, JP. I really appreciate that. And for the audience, if you have any more tips, you can leave them below. So tune in next time for another great question with JP. Thank you.